okay, he said. I can do that. Not too sure of himself, but he was going to figure it out. And he headed down to Earth. Well, when he got there, he got a big, long sack, and he put plantain in it, which is like a banana, and it's very delicious. And he put a lot of palm oil on it, which is one of our sweet oils, and he put it down at the bottom of the sack. And he sat there at a crossroads where he knew the dwarfs always came home from the farm. And sure enough, when evening came, along came the dwarfs, singing along back from the farm. And Nancy sat there at the crossroads, and he was eating the plantain. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I haven't had anything this good in my life, Nancy said. And the dwarfs came along, and of course they couldn't help it. There was Nancy in the middle of the crossroads, eating these plantain. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> the dwarf said, hi, Mr. Anansi. Oh, he said, oh, how are you all? Oh, you're back. <laughs> how was the day? It was great. What do you have there? Oh, I have the most delicious plantain. These plantains are the best. Perfectly ripe, perfectly delicious, and the best palm oil is on them. You want some? Oh, sure, the dwarf said. We will. So one by one, they took plantains out of the sack, and they walked off. Well, the last dwarf came along, and the last plantain was way down at the bottom of, bottom of the sack. And so he said, can I go in for it, Mr. Anansi? And Anansi said, why, certainly. He opened up the sack. The dwarf went all the way to the bottom. He closed it up, tied it tight, and headed off to heaven to show God he got the dwarf. He got to the throne room, and God said, well, what have we got here, Nancy? I got the dwarf, and he opened it up, and the dwarf was set free, and God said, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Nancy. Did a good job. Now, the next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get me a swarm of bees. Nancy said, like flying, stinging bees? That's right, God said. You bring that to me, and we'll see if you're ready for wisdom. Oh, Nancy said, I'm ready. I can, I can handle it. Absolutely. And so off he went to earth. And when he got down there, he sat where he knew the bees were going to fly back home when they finished all their running around looking for things for their, you know, hive. And he sat there with a big calabash full of sweet wine. Mmm. He knew they'd want this. It was seasoned with honey, the best he could find. And sure enough, as he heard them coming on their way home, he started tasting the wine with honey. This is good. <laughs> the bees saw him at that spot and they came down. And Nancy, what have you got there? Oh, he said, hello, Mr. Bees. This is the best honeyed wine you've ever had. Mmm. Ooh, they said, mmm, smells good. It smells good, Anansi. Well, come on in and uh, take a piece. And they said, really? Can we? Absolutely. And so they all dove into the pot. Anansi covered it over with a big mat and carried it to heaven. Swarm of bees. God said, Anansi, you're too much. You did it. You got a swarm of bees. Well, once they were let loose, God said, now one more thing, and you're ready for wisdom. Oh, and Nancy felt very proud of himself now. He said, oh, I can do it. Anything, anything, just tell me what it is. <laughs> so God said, great. Bring me a python. And Nancy said, a python snake python? That's right, God said, a snake. Okay, and Nancy said, I, I can. Uh, absolutely. I, I surely can do that. I, I, yes, I can. I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to do that. And he headed off, really not sure how he was going to handle it. But he thought of something. And he went over where he knew Mr. Python took his regular afternoon nap. And he says, hmm, 
I wonder, as he looked at a snake, a, a stick in front of him, is Mr. Python longer than this stick? Or is this stick longer than Mr. Python? I'll never know. I, I can't imagine how I could measure this. It really is something I must know. Uh, this stick, longer or shorter? Well, all this talking woke Mr. Python up. And he came slithering out from behind the tree. A Nancy. Oh, Mr. Python. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. I didn't know you were. Oh, I'm so sorry. What is it? What is it? Oh, nothing really. <laughs> That's silly of me. But I was just wondering if you, um, is it possible that you are longer than this stick? I'm thinking the stick is longer than you, but I'm not sure. And I was just wondering if I could measure. Maybe I would know for sure. All right, all right. Mr. Python said, I will lie down next to the stick and you'll be able to see. Okay, great. Oh, thank you, Mr. Python. So the snake lay down along the stick and Anansi tied his head to the top just to hold you still, Mr. Python. That's all, just still. Oh, great, that's wonderful. And he laid his body along the stick and when he got to the end, he tied it up at the bottom. That's great, Mr. Python. Thank you. Picked him up and carried him back to heaven. God said, Anansi, is that you with a python? <laughs> yes, God, it's me. I did it. I got the python snake. Mm. God said, you know what? You're really, really good. You are really, really good. Do I get wisdom now? And God said, yes, you certainly may. You are worthy of it, and you're getting it. Great, Anansi said. He couldn't wait. Well, God reached over behind him, and he got a big pot. And he handed it to the little spider, and he said, Now you have all the wisdom in the world. Oh, wow, Anansi said. He took it gingerly. Thank you, God. Thank you. And he left the throne room, and he got himself back to earth. And he's walking along with this big pot. And he's almost home. And as he got close, he realized there had been a storm since he left. A terrible storm. And lots of trees were down. And there was especially one across his pathway. Oh, how am I going to get over this tree trunk, he thought. I, I can't walk all the way around it, and I'm, I, I can't go under it, and this pot has to go home with me. And so Anansi tried his best. He put the pot over. No, that wasn't going to work. He got himself. He tried to drag it over. He did all kinds of things and ways to try to get this pot over this tree trunk. But he couldn't do it. And he sat there looking at his pot of all the wisdom in the world. And this tree trunk blocking his way home. And a little bird came out of the sky and landed on the tree trunk. He had seen Anansi struggling with the pot. And he said, Anansi, you know what you should do? You should put the pot on the tree trunk and then climb over. And then you can pull the pot over on your side on the other side. And the bird flew away. Oh, Anansi was so mad. He said, no, I have all the wisdom in the world. Who is that little bird to be so smart? It's me that's smart. It's me that has wisdom. I was promised wisdom. And in his anger, he picked up the pot of wisdom and smashed it to the ground. And it broke in many pieces. And wisdom spread throughout the earth. And that's how wisdom spread to all of us, and that's the